Okay. So this is gonna be a sort of epilogue of everything after you beat Nemesis. Because I've seen a lot of videos of how how to beat all these games and all the support rankings and everything. But I never see any videos of the epilogue. The page where it writes down what happens after the year later of everything. So this is gonna be that video for the Golden Deer House. So I still have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shut up now. I so, found strength in adversity. Muting the mic. That one seemed to work. We're almost done. Let's go, my friend! who's lived too long. Allow me to fix that! so we can open our true hearts to one another! That's how we win! Future historians will refer to this day as the new dawn of Fodlan. Of that, I have no doubt. It's up to you now, Teach. As for my path... A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlan. The ambitions of the fell king Nemesis were crushed, averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fodlan. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. Country, faith, history, all that had once formed the order of the world was wiped clean. The heroes whose very hand saved Fodlan from a dark fate commenced with the building of a new society. The leaders of this new, unified Fodlan began their walk down a seemingly endless path, one towards a world that would cherish differences in race and belief, one where all life would be valued equally. 
Those leaders clung to the hope that their path would not end with Fodlan, that it would someday span the seas to Dagda and beyond the throat to Almira. Sorry for calling you out here like this. I wanted to talk, just the two of us. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. It seems like our long struggle may finally be coming to an end. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't talk, but I have to say this. So for the epilogue bits, I decided to go out of my way and get every character that I could allied or whatnot as good as a support ranking as I possibly could to another character. So there was going to be a lot of marriage po plots? Points? I don't know what it's called. Um, for the epilogues because that's what I didn't see. I saw a lot of like What's the player character's name? Uh, Baileth? Baileth? I don't know. I just named her em Elena or something. Because I couldn't say that name. <laughs> and I was like, nope. So that's why I'm doing this video in the first place because all of that was just completely bland. And there was only like two videos that I actually saw with the epilogues instead of the whole oh this is what happened after they defeated nemesis or after they defeated the immaculate one or the church of Saros or blah 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 and so that's my whole plan and reasoning and i guess you're welcome or not whatever i'm done i'm done talking now bye The way forward will certainly be rough. Right now, Fodlan is like a newborn, frail and easily upset. If we don't create a new ruling system soon, the Empire and Kingdom will descend into chaos. The coronation ceremony is the first step. Only then will Fodlan truly be a single, united land. I'm sorry that I won't be by your side at such an important event, but I'm certain you'll do great. I must return to my homeland. As for ruling this new unified land, well, I'll leave that to you. The Fodlan blood that flows in my veins. I've made use of it as best I could. Now I've got to use my other bloodline to change my homeland for the better. I have royal connections there too, insignificant as they may be. It's time for me to struggle all over again and see what good I can do. If I don't change things in both Fodlan and the lands beyond, I'll never set eyes on the kind of world I've dreamed of creating. You're the successor Rhea appointed, aren't you? And now you're also the hero who saved Fodlan. All those weak people who have nothing to cling to but their goddess, they'll rely on you just like they used to rely on Rhea. You'll be a leader all who are struggling to survive in war-torn lands can look up to. And I... I want a ruler who can lay down a new set of values for the people. Values that don't exclude anyone for being different. I know it's a lot to ask. But you're the only one who can do it. I have something else to ask. Please, I hope you'll accept this. When I first saw you wield the sword of the Creator, I wanted to use your power to my advantage. I wanted to use you to make my dream of a new world come true. But before long, I realized what I really wanted was to see that new world with you by my side. I still feel that way, you know? I always will. That's why I have to leave. But nothing will stop me from coming back. There's no way I'm gonna let you go. You know that, don't you? Thank you. For everything.
I'll be back before you know it. We'll only be apart for a short while. And now, I'm off to cross Fodlin's throat. I love you. With everything I am. And the next time we see each other, it will be at the dawn of a whole new world. A peaceful, happy world. This is what I'm talking about, about the epilogues. No one chose this sort of stuff. Which I won't be reading, I think it would take too long.
you know, I should probably stop the video here, but I really don't want to because I love this song. Oh well. That's the end. Bye.